the point is that it, it, it sounds like you'd never be able to discover the existence of a universe that wasn't in our universe, and that's, that's true. Except here's the way I think you could turn into science. And it isn't science yet. So here's the way I would see turning it into science. If we had a, a theory of inflation, which we don't have, by the way, we don't have for good, th good based on fundamental particle physics. But let's say we had a particle physics theory that explained from first principles why the proton is 2,000 times heavier than the electron, why there are three generations of elementary particles, etc., etc., etc. And as part of that theory, inflation occurred naturally, it had to have occurred in the early universe. Now, inflation generically produces many universes. It's a property, in fact, you can calculate, if you had a theory of inflation, you can calculate the process of internal deflation. So the point is, you could have a theory that could make 100 predictions, 99 of which are testable. And one of the predictions is that there are other universes. And you might say, look, if it, it, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. So that I can test so many aspects of the theory that those aspects I can't test, I really think are reasonable. So that's a way I think it could stop being metaphysics. Much like, for example, the existence of atoms was accepted long before we had electron microscopes and to be able to see them. There were so many independent predictions of the atomic theory that were vindicated by, uh, by experiment that you accepted that aspect even though uh, you couldn't see them. So I think that, that, that and that's an important direction. If we can't go in that direction, then it will just be talk. And I agree with you, it'll just be talk.